Hey guys, this is another video. I just unboxed this Rubik's Speed Cube right here. And obviously, it turns pretty good. And, um, I don't know, it doesn't turn that good. And what else it comes with? Wait, what? And it also comes with a cube that lubricant, the screwdriver, a stand, instructions, and a couple of springs, and another spring. Hold on. And another spring. Three springs, or I think they're like two are together or something. But okay. Uh, now we can start lubing. Here's here is the little nozzle, the lubricant, and wait. Second, here is the lubricant. What is, what, how do you put it together is, you see this little thing right here that I'm touching? You could unscrew it off, but then it only comes with that. And then, you get your little nozzle, and you put it in there, and you put it in like a screw. Then, you loop. This is the part where this might take a while. Oh, looks like some cool. Okay, I'm just gonna lube this cube real quick. I'm just gonna lube it. It kind of feels like lubical silk. If you know what that is, it's just lube. Okay, and let's continue lubing. Boom. I think it only needs um, a piece, just a little bit of lube for one QB. Okay, this might make a mess. Uh, okay. And yeah. So this is pretty good. It's pretty good. And let's start breaking it in with the lube. Even the camera can't pick it up. It's way good. It's way better. Oh yeah, don't lose this little piece. I like to keep it all. Oh yeah, and you could keep this little plastic that keeps it together. So then you can just go, you can just put them together and just take it out and whatever. And now let's start. Even the camera can't pick up how fast I'm turning. Yeah, because I have a bad camera, but this is the only camera I could get. So let's take a look at the shades or the stickers. The pretty standard stickers, obviously. And one thing I forgot to mention is if you make a mess. It, the cube will get kind of sticky. But yeah. Hold on a sec. I'm going to clean it. I'm just going to clean my cube. Because. I'm moving everywhere. And yeah. We're just going to clean it real quick. Okay. So I just cleaned it. Yeah, it's a pretty good lubricant. Um, oh yeah. And you could use like DNN37 for other Rubik's Cubes. And, oh, one thing I didn't mention. There's little notches in the center caps. And you could use the screwdriver 
to take it off. Hold on, I'll take it off right now. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Took it off. There is a flathead screw, and I'm gonna see if I can take it off. Oh yeah. Yeah, I could move it. I could move it. It's just that uh, it's pretty good. Now I'm gonna put this back inside again. Hold on. Get it. There you go. Okay, there. I got it. In. So yeah, I um, it's a pretty good standard Rubik's cube, and. Um, yeah, I recommend this for, like, beginners and stuff like that. And, yeah, this is a pretty good cube for beginners. Oh, yeah, and I'm just reviewing the Rubik's Speed Cube. Instructions, it is pretty big. Even the... Whoa. Hold on. Just a second. It's acting like crazy. Um, there's just a lot of writing. Um, there's support back contents, and then comes the oh, this is how to tension it. You take off, you take off the center cap like I showed you. Then you get, then you start tensioning. You take off the screw. You look into the actual cube. Then you dismantle it, and then it comes with a ball core. It doesn't come with a core that only has like that only. It doesn't come with a core that is just like a plus sign or whatever it's called. And yeah, this is obviously this is a pretty good beginner cube. And boom, we did in the video. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And yeah. See you guys in the next video.